Hi, welcome to video tutorial from Robojax. In this video, we are going to see and provide you the code on how to use this uh, four by four uh, matrix keypad to display the information here, or maybe take action when a key is pressed. For example, six A B D or any value that is pressed, so you can do something with that. You can get the code for this project by clicking at the link at the description below the video, which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. So let's get started with this. When you when you buy it, you will see the connection will be available so you can put your wires directly or you can put a header. So I put this wire to make it easy. But uh, how I did was I mm, there is a female header is uh, attached. So that makes it very easy. You can also make your own header like this, this is just a PCB, attach your wires and then put one uh, female here and one male here and then every time you just need to work, insert this and uh, connect it. The length of this uh, board is 68.5 millimeter including this portion of PCB. And then without the PCB, this is 64.7. And from this side, 65.4, 65.2. And if you want the inner edge, 59.7 by 56.6. The depth of it, because I've attached this without this, the depth is 9.8 millimeter. If you want to know the weight, it's including this header is 23 grams. So to explain the wiring, I've made it very simple. Uh, from here, uh, from this side, I just went to the pin two up to pin nine. So it goes from pin two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, just from right from here from right to left. You don't need any other setup or connection or anything. The link for this library keypad will be provided. Uh, once you download it, just put it in your Arduino, wherever you have the Arduino. And this is your Arduino, just go inside the library and then paste it here. So you should have this keypad folder with all these files, especially these two, keypad.cpp and keypad.h. So once you have this, then the code that I've provided, copy and paste it and run. So let me explain the code. So here, when it says, when it says keypad.h, that is referring to the file that I just showed you. So this file, and then inside this, it requires .cpp. And then here we define the number of rows, four and column four, and here exactly how it is. So this is one row, two rows, and four row, and these are the columns. The same way that your keypad is. And the key for that one I experimented and I found out to be working is this one. The way that I've connected it on the mm, Arduino, you have to put here for the rows, you put five, four, three, two, and then nine, eight, seven, six. So they are in reverse order, and then the wires will work the way I showed you. And after that, here we uh, uh, we create an object keypad from this keypad with these passing this this array of keys here, and then row pen, column pen, rows and columns. So these are the values that we are all passing here. So this object is ready. And then inside the setup, we just initialize this 9600 baud for the serial monitor. And that will match this number here on the right corner. This must match, otherwise you will not be able to see it. And then inside the loop, which starts from here to here, this section will just read the code. It goes to this object and get key will get the key. And we store the value here as a character. You see C-H-A-R, that's a car. So we put it as character and then we say if 
character exists if it has some value if we pressed it then it press it prints these three lines the first line prints the word key here and then the key is the actual key because it doesn't have any quotation so this is the actual value and the quotation it refers to a text and then also we put the text is pressed and as you can see here on the right side now I'm pressing 7 I'm pressing now 8 I'm pressing hash or number sign D 6 and so forth so if you want to use it for some purpose let's say you want to check if key 4 is pressed then do something here for example if I press 4 it will print it, this will be also printed and also we say do this if 4, 4 is pressed you see this line is also printed so you can take an action based on pressing some key but if you want to make it fancy as a code you can also play with it and make it such that uh, a 5d 3 is pressed and some action for example you can control a solenoid to open the door you can control a motor stepper motor light uh, temperature sensor some device should be activated whatever you can so you can do it here so you just put your condition and do the action Thank you for watching. So this was introduction to this 4x4 uh, black keypad for Arduino. Please subscribe so you can get updates of my upcoming videos. If you have any question, please post it at the comment section below. I'll try to reply and answer. Um, take care.